let's talk current events uh, there's a lot going on so there's a lot we can talk about um, obviously Gaza Israel Palestine Middle East blowing sky high we're watching a genocide in real time no no sugar coating it or anything like this it's genocide in real time uh, you could be a supporter of Israel or Palestine or be neutral and if you really look at this with unbiased lens it's genocide in real time that we're watching treat it appropriately okay treat it appropriately remember Norman uh, uh, Muller's poem first they came if you see genocide occurring it is important to not brush it aside okay Ukraine is done for uh, that should be obvious to everyone uh, the question is will Ukraine exist as a state or will it not looks like they're about to call up the females and send them through the meat, meat grinder I hope at some point sooner rather than later uh, Ukrainians really figure out who their enemy is and who is destroying them there is a uh, multiple links between Ukraine and Israel uh, there are multiple links between Israel and 9-11 uh, there are multiple links between uh, the COVID rollout of the injections and in Israel there are multiple links between the collapse of Western economies as well as the global economy and what's happening in Ukraine and Israel and the United States this is global war this is world war three treated as such personally my take is i don't think it can be stopped we just have to mitigate the damage and make sure we hold the people who brought the world to the to this point to the brink right where we're watching genocide in real time okay i hope we hold those people accountable for their crimes that's my quick little intro to this thing.